the question from the YouTube from Kayyum Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Why didn't Allah stop shaitan from doing evil when he have control over everything? Does that mean Allah also wanted to spread evil? No, Billah. He could have stopped him, but why didn't he? The question posed by Kayyum Ahmed is that Allah permitted the shaitan to spread evil if he wanted to stop him. So why didn't he stop him? Did Allah also want to spread evil? What the brother referring to the verse of the Quran which talks about Iblis and we know that this message is mentioned at least seven different places in the Quran that Allah asked the angels to bow down, all bow down illa Iblis, except Iblis. And then when Allah wants to punish him, we know in the story, the shaitan the Iblis asks for spite. Respite means delay my punishment. And if you delay my punishment, I will misguide the human beings, your servant. So Allah accepts and he says, you will never be able to misguide the true believers, my true servants. You will only be able to misguide those who are not my true servants. And Allah accepts and agrees to delay the punishment. So this life is a test for the hereafter. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk, Chapter number 67, verse number 2. Alladhi khalaq al mawta al hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. So this life is the test for the hereafter. And the Satan is trying to tempt or misguide the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says, you will never be able to misguide my servants. But those who are not my servants will be able to misguide. So it's not Allah that wants to spread evil. Allah wants to test the human being. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks, if you read in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 172, Allah brings forth from the loin of Adam all the children of Adam and asks them, Do you believe that there is one God? And all of them said, Yes, Beshak, we believe there is one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks the human beings that, Do you believe? Do you know who is your creator? Who is your Lord? And all of us agree. Now Allah is testing us in this world. And the shaitan, who is the devil, who is the enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he challenges Allah that he, he will misguide the human being. So it is not that Allah cannot stop. Of course Allah can stop. It is like in an examination, a teacher has taught the students at the end of the year, she calls them for an examination and she is the supervisor. In the examination, she sees that the student wrote 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. She knows it is wrong. She can correct the student. But if she corrects, it could be called cheating because this is an examination. She cannot correct or tell the student what you have written is wrong because this is an examination. Similarly, if Allah wants, he can easily destroy the Satan. He can easily stop him. But this is a test. So Allah is letting shaitan do his work. But Allah knows that those who are true believers, who have true faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Satan will not be able to misguide them. So, hope this answers the question.